everyone! What is up? And welcome back to my channel, Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. As well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have on this unboxing and review. And as always, do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of up and coming content. And I do want to alert you guys that you should be keeping an eye out because we will be adding our memberships shortly. So do keep an eye out for that join button as that will appear as soon as we have that live and running as well as when we have our merchandise up, which I'm so excited. We are getting so close to releasing that. So keep an eye out for our merch to be up and running as well on our YouTube channel. Five shoots down. Try to get six out of the way. I mean, actually four shoots down, sorry. <laughs> Try to get five out of the way, but we're almost out of light, guys, so I guess that she's gonna have to wait for another day. But we got the J's in. All right, guys, so if you had guessed with that intro, that's right. These are none other than the Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds. This is a pretty exciting moment because we have not seen these this specific silhouette in this specific colorway since it launched on in 1989 which is seems like forever ago which is crazy that we have not seen this exact colorway on that release in 1989 it was featured in three different colorways and this is basically an exact makeup with a white base overlaid by tones of black as well as fire reds throughout this shoe. Now for basically the first time since 1989, we are seeing an exact replica of that beautiful colorway in this specific silhouette. And so this basically has the original form with familiar features, which include the vintage Nike Air branding on the back here with that pull tab that we're so used to seeing. These also are not the adult sizing. I got these in seven youth, so these are grade school. This initially in the adult sizing actually comes with a Nike hang tag with its original uh, kind of vintage -y look. The kids did not come with that hang tag because I could not find it anywhere in the box, unfortunately. So one thing you are not getting if you decide to get these, you're not gonna get that hang tag, hang tag for the uh, grade school sizing, unfortunately. Uh, other than that, we are seeing the original, original packaging that this shoe came in, so no changes there. Um, and then after you know the discussion, we'll talk about the sizing. Uh, when I get more in depth with this overview, hop into some styling as well as complete with some resell on the shoe. As far as the shoe goes, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was very lucky. I got an alert that said that these were gonna be dropping on the sneakers app. I luckily was able to play for both the adult size and the kid size. I didn't get them in the adult sizing, but I did manage to cop these in grade school sizing, which if you're able to go grade school, I mean, you might as well give yourself more opportunities to be able to cop these shoes, which is what I did this time around. And so I was fortunate enough to get these. As far as this beautiful fire red goes, we are seeing it on the midsole all the way around wrapping around that toe box here and coming around to the side there we've got our nice clear bubble with some black tone going on on the top of that midsole the outsole has red as well as some gray and white with the Jumpman logo then we've got just some nice leather wrapping around here it's a bit of tumbled white leather that we're seeing wrapping around the medial and lateral side uh, it's a little bit stiffer i will say as far as the tumbled leather goes then we've got the caging system here in that white um as far as tongue goes we've got this reflective kind of tongue on the front here with the jumpman logo in red with flight underneath him and then we have the simple white laces 
on the inside we've got that fire red that's wrapping around this heel as well as an insole that's red and black it says nike with the swoosh as well as the air on the inside and then we have the air jordan embroidered on the inside of that tongue there then we have just some nice lacing systems here in that fire red for some nice touches with some other black accents on each the medial and lateral side of the shoe all right well nothing like seeing an og colorway come back to life years later thank you nike for bringing this classic og color back into our lives because now those who have been probably waiting years to add this collection to their collection are now able to do so so now let's talk about sizing. Uh, with a lot of the Jordan silhouettes, I'm able to go with a youth grade school size and a size seven. I do say to typically stay true to your size. For me, I personally can size a half size down if need be. In this case, that is what I did. Typically, I'm a 7.5. There's just not a lot of extra space for me in this shoe. I do hit it up on the edge of that toe box. So definitely not gonna be able to wear extremely thick socks for this specific sizing. Uh, but those of you who are wondering how the fit and sizing works I would say sticks true to your size so again typically I'm a 7.5 which translates to a woman size 9 a size 7 in grade school is uh, 8.5 in women's as well so definitely going to say that these fit like any of my other fours that I have reviewed so nothing has changed there all right you guys so now let's hop into styling and talk about how I style these shoes so for the first look, I definitely wanted to give it a more feminine look. So I paired that with Reformation skirt. It had a nice floral print and I topped that off with a nice just denim shirt. And I feel like, you know, this day was so beautiful when I was shooting. It's just crazy the weather that we're having here in New York in November. I mean, to have 70 degree weather is just like mind blowing. I'm not complaining. I want it to keep going all throughout the rest of the month, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Maybe it'll stay. Maybe it won't. Uh, but yeah, I just love to pair some of my Jordans with more feminine looks because I do think that a lot of girls are unfamiliar with how to style these. And I do think that, you know, you can really wear sneakers with lots of floral print skirts and I think in this situation because that floral print skirt kind of has this same kind of fire red tones that we're getting throughout the colorway of this shoe it just worked very well as well as just a simple denim to pair with that because denim obviously is going to go great with these shoes Alright, so for the second look, I paired, a, paired the shoes with a more athletic look. So I did some gray plain biker shorts with an Alpha Industries uh, Comme des Garcons bomber jacket over top, just a simple black tank top. Definitely an athletic shoe, so I think that biker shorts are just obviously if you can rock them right now in whatever weather you're experiencing, especially for us in New York, it was a great time to rock some biker shorts because I may be putting those away for the rest of the season. We'll see what the next few weeks look like, but it was just a great weather day, and so I got the opportunity to pull those out, and I think that those colors just worked great with the colors that are popping off of this specific shoe. Next time, trying to slide with my people on the west side yeah moving different than all the rest because i'm by doing a different new vision and no regrets man i used to be a victim repented of all my stress now excuse me i'm just venting and getting it off my chest yeah believing one day we all ball but once you get your shot just don't turn to a ball hog putting my team on if i'm higher we all tall just know i got your back if you down then we all fall that's lordy baby that's right that's right can't control it but that's life that's life yeah let's spend time more than we spend cash you only got one life and it do it fast but all i know you got problems, know you at the bottom, know you took a loss today, everybody want bottles, living for the bottom, you just want to buy the day, tell me joy where it's hiding, I've been trying to find it before I go all the way, cause everybody got problems, everybody starving, but don't you go off the day, yeah. uh. don't you go off, don't you go off now, that's right. 
All right, so for the last and final look, I decided to pair this with actually some leather ripped uh, deconstructed jeans and I paired that with just a simple gray hoodie. I think of course there's lots of black accents of the shoes. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. So I wanted to bring some different textures to it with the leather pants. I think leather pants worked great with these. And you know, I just wanted a very simplified neutral color for my top. So that's why I went with that kind of sweater material hoodie. All right, you guys, so let me know out of those three options, what was your favorite look as well as how would you style these shoes? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so now let's conclude with how the resale is going for these shoes. Again, these have not fully launched on sneakers yet. You do have some time, but hopefully this video will help you decide whether or not you wanna pick up these shoes or take a pass on it. Uh, other than that, we are going to get into how these are currently selling right now. It may be a different higher price point just because they haven't fully launched on the Sneakers app yet. All right, so for the grade school, these retailed at $140. For the adult sizes, those retailed around $200. As far as the resale goes, it's not like crazy high if you really want to buy these early before they come out on the Sneakers app. Uh, for the grade school, it's currently going around $160, so about $20 over that retail price point. For the adult sizes, it's ranging from around $250 to $300. So again, not too crazy over that retail price point. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for tuning in to another one of my unboxings and reviews. Again, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Shape community as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have on this specific shoe as well as do not forget to hit that notification bell so we have a ton of up and coming content that we do want to alert you about. All right, you guys, thanks again so much for tuning into my channel, Shay TV. This is Marissa Hill. Again, we will see you on the next video.